About 15 years ago, my dad got a fortune cookie. And in this fortune cookie, it said, hidden in a valley beside an open stream, this will be the place where you will find your dream. Kind of a strange thing to be in a fortune cookie, but it was right. And shortly after that, he purchased land on the Smith River in California. And so today, what I would like to talk to you about is um, the Smith River. And after listening to my speech today, you will be able to describe three aspects of Smith River, California that make it one of my favorite places in the world. First, I will discuss the Smith River itself. Second, I will discuss the surrounding areas. And finally, I will talk about um, the relaxing aspect of Smith River that is probably my favorite thing about it. So let's begin with the Smith River itself. I'm going to bring up some photos here so you have an idea. So the Smith River itself is the largest river system in California that flows freely its entire course. So that means there is no dam on the Smith River, which is absolutely amazing considering um, how big it is. So it runs about 25 miles completely undammed which leads to um, the water being com excuse me, completely crystal clear and actually very cold, which is kind of nice because it gets very warm out there. Um, the area that we go to visit where my parents purchased property is about 30 minutes inland from Crescent City, California, which is on the northern coast, and it's right below uh, the Oregon border. Uh, also, this is located in Del Norte County. Here's another above image of it. It's located in Del Norte County. And for those of you who are unfamiliar with Del Norte County, if you have seen Star Wars, um, Episode 6, uh, The Return of the Jedi, it's the home of the Ewoks. So they're the little bear people. That was filmed in Del Norte County, which is where this is located. So it's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. And uh, moving on to my next point, I want to discuss the surrounding areas. So these are the redwood trees that are in the surrounding areas. And there is so much recreational activity to do in this area. Um, and you can do hiking, you can do uh, river rafting down the river, and my favorite thing to do is just float on the river. You can do that anywhere, and there's so many places to find. My parents have this particular area where uh, the swimming hole is private, but there's a whole entire length of it where you can go to explore and a lot of hiking to do. Which brings me to Jedediah Smith Redwoods State Park, which is only about 10 minutes from my parents' property, and it's absolutely beautiful. If you have not seen Redwoods in your life, I highly re recommend it. Um, and it contains 7% of the world's old growth remaining redwoods, which is absolutely amazing. It was named after the first white man to explore the area, that area who was Jedediah Smith, and it has 10,000 acres and 20 miles of hiking trails. So if you can't find something to do there, I can't help you. <laughs> Moving on to the third aspect that makes it one of my favorite places is the relaxing environment. So I'll take you back to this little picture here. This is the cabin that my dad built on the Smith River, and it's located above the river itself. And it's completely off the grid. So there's no electricity, no running water, no phone service out there. So you're completely unplugged. And one of the wonderful things is that they built water tower out there and it runs off generator electricity and gas. So you still have all the comforts of home, but you're completely unplugged. And I spend most of my time out here. There's a hammock where you can hear the river and the wind, and it's just completely serene and relaxing and wonderful. And I highly recommend visiting there, even if it's not in this area itself. Um, and there's absolutely no disturbances from the outside world. You can't even hear passing cars in this area, so it's highly recommended. 
So finally, I'd like to review the three aspects of Smith River, California that make it one of my favorite places. The first is the river itself. The second is the surrounding areas. And the third is the relaxing nature of the area. And I want to finish with a little thought for you all. So my dad found this area and built his dream. And as I grew and spent time there, it became my dream too. And my dad always told my mom that if something were to happen to him, that she should sell this property to protect herself, to take care of herself. My sister and I weren't having it. <laughs> we told her, no, we'll take care of you. We're going to keep this because it became our dream. And I recommend for all of you to visit Smith River, California and find the dream yourself. Thank you.